The Open Energy Data Initiative, or ODI, is a centralized repository of high-value energy datasets from the DOE, national labs, and more. Some of these datasets are quite large and require special tools to use effectively. If you are interested in learning about how to work with big data, I suggest checking out some of our other videos. That said, many of these datasets are not so large and can simply be downloaded directly. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use the 2022 Annual Technology Baseline, or ATB, electricity dataset, which is relatively small. The ATB electricity dataset contains projections of various parameters for different electricity generating technologies through the year 2050. You can find all of ODI's data in the catalog at data.openei.org. If we search the catalog for ATB, we should find an entry for this year's release. The catalog entry contains a variety of ATB publications. To get to the raw data, I will click here where it says View Data Lake. This takes us to OD's S3 Bucket Viewer. For this particular dataset, there are two file formats available. You are probably more familiar with CSV, so let's start there. And we want the 2022 data, and there it is. This file is only 39 megabytes, so let's download it and take a look in Excel. I'm going to add column filters so we can see what's going on. In the core metric parameter column, you can see a list of the parameters that the analysts have projected. The technology column has a list of the electricity generating technologies included in the study. This is time series data, so the core metric variable column contains the year for the projected value in the value column. You can continue with Excel if you want, but you're probably more interested in working with the data in Python. Since I've already downloaded the CSV file, I could import the local file. However, if I were starting from scratch, I would make Python do the download directly. Let's go back to the bucket viewer. Recall that we also have a Parquet version of this data. If we click through to the Parquet version of the 2022 ATB data, notice that it is one-tenth of the size of the CSV file. The Parquet format is highly compressible, which makes storage more efficient and your download times much faster. Also, importing a Parquet file into Python for analysis is a breeze. If you want to follow along with this example, make sure you have the Pandas and PyArrow packages installed and then fire up a Jupyter Notebook. First, let's use a Pandas function to import the Parquet file into a data frame. I need the URL for the download link, which I can copy from the bucket viewer. Now, if I take a quick look at the columns in the data frame, we see that some of them are encoded as objects. Sometimes Pandas needs a little help to know which data type to use. I'm going to add some code here to convert these columns to type string. Let's generate a list of the parameters. RawData.CoreMetricParameter accesses the core metric parameter column, and the unique method will give us a unique list of the entries in this column. We can do the same thing to get a list of the electricity generating technologies. To further develop our holistic understanding of this data set, we can simply return the data frame, and Jupyter will give us a truncated view of it. The last thing I want to mention is that if you go back to the catalog entry, you'll see that we have a fleshed out version of this notebook available for download. It also shows some more advanced interactive plotting examples, and I highly recommend checking it out. 